So it's my first day of CrossFit. And I have a pimple. Hey everybody, it's Spartan Chris here. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you haven't already, please also go check out my gaming channel, Sparta Chris Gaming, where I do lots of Let's Plays. Sometimes you'll see an occasional archive of some of my Twitch streams. And also check out my podcasts on nerdsloth.com. There are several podcasts that I am on, so please go give those a listen. You might find something you like. All right, so the big thing that I wanted to talk about today is CrossFit. I have just finished my first week of doing CrossFit boot camp and I feel so much better than I expected. So we've done three workouts this week, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, um, and I am recording this um, Saturday afternoon, uh, just a couple hours after we got out of our class. The first day, I wasn't feeling that great afterwards. I was really sore, especially in my legs. Um, and what I did was I just made sure that I kept moving around a lot that next day and the day after, doing um, a little bit of stretching, but really just kind of trying to walk around a lot, trying to the the muscles that were hurting trying to use them really lightly and I think that helped me out quite a bit along with some of the um, routines and things like that that I learned from going to this CrossFit which is IST based here in Duluth Minnesota and I gotta say I am really enjoying doing CrossFit for three specific reasons the first reason is that they concentrate a ton on form and that has always been one of my biggest problems and one of my biggest insecurities is not executing a form well because I am very prone to injury and it makes me nervous uh, but it turns out my form's pretty good on a lot of the things that we've done so far and I've just needed a few corrections here and there which is great because that's exactly what I want and Rochelle has been doing this with me and she's been loving that part because there's a lot of movements that she's been doing that she hasn't been doing the range of motion uh, in the best way that she could and now she's feeling it more she's working harder and working smarter second thing I really enjoy is having a buddy to uh, do the workouts with. So the previous gym I was going to with uh, nine round, I mean, you're by yourself going from station to station, doing your thing. And I mean, they'll give you an explanation for things. Um, sometimes you're doubled up on something, but you're not kind of working towards a goal with anyone else. Whereas this one, what I really like is when uh, you break down into uh, groups of two or three and you will have a specific uh, you'll have a specific routine to do. So let me use today as an example. We had to do four rounds towards the end of the workout in the conditioning phase, which is towards the end, of 30 air squats, followed directly by hitting 20 calories on a rowing machine, followed directly by 10 burpees. But you're with a partner. So what happens is I do 15 squats and, and then immediately Rochelle does 15 squats and I can cheer her on and I'm getting a little bit of a rest and we kind of, you kind of split everything in half, do it that way. So you're getting a little bit of that rest in between things because it can be really taxing, really strenuous. We uh, got through all four rounds and I mean, we were really dying by the end but we actually had a lot of time to spare because we got through it so quickly. So I was really proud of us for doing that. The third and final reason I really love doing this CrossFit class is it focuses a lot. Um, once, once we're all done, we're coming down from our, our workout, we're catching our breath, we're stretching a little bit. That's when they start talking to you about nutrition. And that's fantastic. Now, before starting this, per my last couple videos, I was trying to do intermittent fasting having a little success, but I mean, it wasn't anything fantastic. Part of those reasons are just me screwing up and not falling to it strictly enough. However, after trying CrossFit the first day, uh, I realized intermittent fasting was not gonna work well with what I was doing. And I'm not saying that that wouldn't work well for anyone. It's just not working well for me because that next morning, 
I was dying. I needed something for energy. I needed some calories and stuff in my system. I couldn't just rely on caffeine uh, to get there. So what they recommended for us to do was four meals a day and basically taking your calories for the entire day and you know cutting that up into four sections and basically doing that. Now in the mornings I have some weird stomach stuff going on. I don't know. Um, I think it has to do with GERD and things like that but I usually don't feel very well in the mornings. I usually feel a little bit sick and I do take a medication that's helped with that a little bit, but I'm not to the point where it's just like a normal morning for anybody else. So what I have been doing is drinking a water first thing in the morning, which sometimes it might just be a carbonated water, uh, like, like bubbly or La Croix or any of those things. Yes, I said La Croix because I'm fancy. Pinky out for fancy. Wait, let me get the other pinky out because it's kind of sparkly. Fancy. And then I'll just have a kind bar. So right there, right off the bat, I'm getting about 170 to 200 calories to start the morning. And then the calories that I didn't have that would have been distributed, I can move those up into some of my other meals. So then I move on to lunch and that's where I'm gonna have most of my starch-based carbs, lots of protein, and that's where most of my fats are gonna be for the day, aside from having some of those healthy fats in the morning with the kind bar since that's made of nuts and things like that. Third meal of the day is gonna be around the time that I get out of work because our class is at, I think like 6.40. And so those days, my meal is gonna be carbs and protein and as little fat as possible because I've kind of learned that fat kind of upsets my stomach if I have it before a workout. So one meal I could do was something like we had the other day which was uh, skinless rotisserie chicken with hot sauce and lots of Brussels sprouts. Now here's something that I didn't know about post-workout meals because let's just say I do a workout uh, in the evening, my Post meal would usually just be something like um, a protein shake, but with maybe two scoops of the powder instead of one. So I'm just getting a big massive thing of protein. So in going to the class, they talked about the need to have um, a little bit of all three of the major macronutrients. So I need protein, had that covered, but I also need fat, and I need carbs. And that's going to basically um, kind of replenish my body and it's gonna um, help things recuperate and it's gonna help me have some energy in the morning when I wake up. So after the first class on Tuesday, I didn't do that. I had a protein drink and I also had an amino drink. You know, I'm just kind of double gaming it here, trying to get my muscles to, uh, to not die the next day. And that's all I had. That next morning I felt like crap. I was so sore, I had no energy, I was just completely worn out. And then I had that severe soreness up through uh, when I was going to my next class, which was Thursday, which is sucks going in when you're already really sore, but got through it, had a great workout, and then I changed my post-workout meal. So what I did is I got some of those uh, steel cut instant oats with uh, the ones I got with the apple cinnamon ones because those are my favorite ones. Mix those up, put in a little bit of natural peanut butter in it. I know that sounds weird, but it's super good guys, it really is. So I ate that to get some of those healthy fats, some carbs, and then I also had my protein drink and my aminos on top of that. And the next morning, I felt amazing. I had so much energy, I wasn't really sore, I did a little bit of stretching just right when I woke up out of bed, and I cannot believe how good I felt. It, it might be somewhat of a placebo effect, it could also be coincidence, but the amount of difference there was, guys, like, you need to understand, it was huge. It was a huge difference. So I think that this is going to be a really good regimen for me. Doing exercise and having fun with it by having a partner, which is always pretty much going to be Rochelle, it's something we can do together as a couple and encourage each other all the way through. We get to pay a lot of attention to our form and we get corrected to make sure we are doing things the right way to prevent injury and to get the most out of our workout. And I got to tell you, like my muscles, I can tell I'm using muscles doing these movements that I've done 
but never really felt the amount of all these muscles working. But now that I'm doing things correctly, I can feel it all. And also looking at my nutrition better, using the right nutrients at the right time for my metabolism and for my muscle recovery. And seriously, I'm having a blast. So week one down, big success. I cannot wait to talk about week two. So that's it for this video. I am going to shower up. So again, if you haven't already, please check out Spartacus Gaming. It is my Let's Play channel here on YouTube. The link is in the show notes below, as well as after this video. Also, please check out all my podcasts on nerdslot.com. There are several there to choose from. There's something a little bit for everybody. If you like the content on here where I've talked about things like my mental health, there's a great podcast called Anxiously Ever After, which is me and Rochelle talking about anxiety, depression, the state of our mental health, the things that affect it, the things that we can do to help ourselves and help each other. I think you will really enjoy that. So just because I can't thank you enough, I'm going to say thank you one more time because I do live in Minnesota and we're that close to Canada and thanking is just a big thing. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you next time. Keep fighting.